All right, so here we are with the Carhartt Whip work in progress, fall winter 2021 lookbook, preview, whatever you want to call it. And if this is similar to the other Carhartt seasons, they're already starting to roll out the stuff. So some of these pieces will be available. If you're interested in an image that I talk about, you can go to their website and you can click on the picture where it says shop this look, and then it'll give you a full breakdown of the outfit. So for example, this piece right here is already in stock. We also get a breakdown of the prices for the items. So if you guys are interested, you can go check that out. With that being said, we are going to jump into it. I will also say that the Carhartt Whip seasons have been a little bit lacking for maybe the last year and a half or two years. I think they had a really big season um, that like two years ago, I think the fall winter of 2019 was like a crazy one and a lot of people were kind of hyped on pieces that were in that they had a lot of good things like flannels and striped stuff uh, i think i covered that there might be a video of mine out there if you do search for it, if you're interested in seeing what dropped back then but since then it's been a little bit underwhelming <clears throat> that being said we'll get into it though we have a full slew of lookbook images to go into First one on the left, we have this big jacket, chore coat, possibly are they calling it a chore coat, uh, the Arctic coat. So this reminds me of their collaboration they did a couple years ago with Awake New York. I think they did maybe the same exact like color blocking or paneling. And then on the back they had Awake, I believe, or like a big Carhartt sign and then Awake below it. They also did some tees, but... I don't know. I'm not really feeling the paneling that's going on here. We also have the overalls, which I like the paneling more on the overalls, but uh, I still just prefer like a normal one to that. Um, the reason I like the bottoms or the overalls because the uh, the double knee, the extra portion of fabric that goes over the knees, I like the secondary color that they're using. It also looks like the backside might be a different color, that darker brown. And then looks like he's wearing a Reno shirt, which they've done before. A lot of the pieces that we're going to see are just going to be new colorways for existing silhouettes, which happens every season. We get some new striped colorways, get some new colorways for jackets. That's pretty much how it goes. A lot of them are earthy tones, you know, being Carhartt. It's workwear, hunting inspired, things like that, so. That's just what to expect. Uh, moving forward, we have the OG Active Jacket, uh, Vista T-shirt, the double knee pant, and then a key holder, which we'll see up close a little bit later. Also looks like they're not including the flannel that the dude's wearing. I think we'll get a look at the flannel later though. Out of this fit though, everything's you know just pretty chill. I do like these pants though. These pants are kind of interesting. Let me open this up in a new tab so we can take a closer look. Um, an interesting camo for sure. I've never seen them do a camo quite like this. I do like it. I like the aged canvas. I like how they have Carhartt Whip, the branding worked into it. I like that's kind of cool. Um, it's really, it's really like a long camo, like tree bark or something. I like it. That's, that's a good camo that they're doing. Moving forward, we have this cardigan. And then the button up on the right hand side, just some like regular pants and then another regular button up underneath the uh, Lynn check shirt, which is a zip shirt. Uh, not feeling anything out of this. The outfit itself is, I guess it's good because of the colors that they're pairing together. But I don't know, we got like plaid and stripes mixed. And yeah, this is a pass for me. Moving forward, we have striped which they've they do this style of striping a lot where they'll do a couple thick ones intertwined with some really narrow stripes and i've never really been crazy about them i will say the colors right here work really well together though a lot of very autumn colors you got the oranges the like burgundies a little purple in there yellow they they go really well together but um, those style of stripes have never really been the ones that I go for. I'll go for maybe just like a bunch of little narrow ones, a little bit thicker than what they got for the gold there, though. Uh, then we have a work jacket with embroidery on the back. Got the Carhartt going in 
a cursive font then Detroit Michigan 1889 uh, let's see what's this jacket called the Dennis jacket uh, looks looks a lot different on body than in person it looks very similar to one of their um, just like work jackets I suppose instead of from the product image it almost looks like a like anorak or something anyway or like a windbreaker material kind of and then we have some more double knee pants in a different colorway. Uh, we just have the Chase sweatshirt, or I guess this is the American Script sweatshirt. I guess the Chase one actually is only just the C, not the spell it down below. <clears throat> Off-road. This must be just a slightly different color than what they've already done. But front and center, we have probably the most interesting thing that's going to drop this season from Carhartt Whip. Um... We have this graphic tee where it's a chocolate bar. The end of it is a C. You got the innards, which I don't know if it's supposed to be like peanut butter, maybe like a plan Butterfingers, but and then Carhartt spelled out across the shirt. And I do like it. I think it's cool. You can see down here, it retails at $55, which is pretty pricey for a t-shirt. You know, Palace isn't even charging that much. But if you go to different websites like uh, Sneaker Studio, they'll probably have it for cheaper. Even like right when it comes out, probably be like 48 or something. And then you'll most likely be able to find it on sale somewhere later on in the season for like 30. So if you do like it, but you don't want to pay $55, uh, just wait till the end of the season. You'll be able to find it. We also have the striped shirt, which... I really don't care for the colorways i guess are all right 65 dollars dumb expensive um then we also have a simple pant in the blue worn bleached um color we have this like washed one ashfield sweatshirt they've done in the last maybe like year they've done a lot of these i think the sedona or s something like that they had a hoodie uh called that and they did a bunch of maroons and like teals and a similar wash that looked very similar. All right. And then we got the dude wearing the hoodie again. And we have the Glenn shirt jacket, some Cato cargo pants. I like the maroon cargo pants. And jacket's all right. Nothing too crazy, though. Uh, kind of an interesting utilitarian style jacket, the Kilda jacket, which they've dropped... Similar jackets like this with tons of pockets, but I don't know. This might be a new silhouette. It doesn't sound familiar. The Kilda. Got the camo beanie using the same camo we saw in those pants earlier, which looks pretty cool. I like the orange how it contrasts with it. Makes sense too. Very like hunting inspired. The hooded tone air sweatshirt, which we get better look over here. I, I like the embroidery. That embroidery looks really nice. It's nice and thick, but... I don't know if I like the color blocking up on the shoulder, like the stripe. It's probably probably not for me. And then we also got some eucalyptus camo joggers. I like the name, but maybe not the, the actual look of it. <laughs> All right, moving forward, we have some more of that camo. The whip, the Whitsum shirt jacket right here is what they got, which I believe I actually have a Whitsum shirt jacket, and it's corduroy. I wonder if, is this corduroy? Let's see. Yeah, so it looks like this is corduroy as well. Um, the one that I have, same thing, just different colorway. Very nice, very comfortable. It is quilted inside, or it's got like a quilted lining. Got some pockets on the outside. It's a it's a nice jacket. Um, but the one that I got, I got on sale for like a hundred bucks or like eighty bucks. So uh, this is a cool cool piece though. I do like that camo. I think it's interesting. Works well on the jacket. There's a lot of stuff breaking it up, so maybe it doesn't seem as long, but I like it. We also have the Chase sweatshirt, and then the Abbott pant in corduroy, looking like a slate color almost. We have the hooded Beaumont half zip sweatshirt in wax, a rugby polo, and then double knee pants using that same camo. But then we also have a black panel going over it. So, I don't know. I don't really like the black panel over them. Maybe the inverse with, like, the camo panel. I don't know how that look, but not really feeling it. All right, moving forward. Like I said, we have a ton of lookbook pictures. We've got a couple interesting things. First off, we have the Detroit jacket, 
um, winter style. So it's going to be a little bit warmer, a little bit thicker in the Fraser colorway. I do like this green. Um, and then I actually really like this Asher check shirt in the leather colorway or leather option. I really like the check pattern that they got going on here. I think that's cool. Get some very old school vibes. And then it looks like we have a leather pocket and then leather detailing on the shoulders. Let's see. Yeah, it goes across the top and the back. One thing, <clears throat> one thing I wish they would have done is made the collar leather as well. I think that would have contrasted um, the full pattern really well. And it would have stood out. It would it would have just like matched with the pocket really, really well, in my opinion. Like maybe they could have gotten rid of the shoulders being that leather and then just done the collar. I think that would have looked really cool and it'd be nice and comfy. But regardless, this is a really cool shirt. I do like it. I like the colorway. I like what they got going on. It's a good look. And going back, we had the shirt, which is, you know, nothing too crazy. I got close up that keychain. I, I believe this is a moped that it's on. We'll see in a little bit. And then uh, we have a bib apron, which similar to the other stuff we saw before, you know, these overalls, once again, we're seeing them. They have the paneling going on for uh, different portions of the fabric that make up this piece. And then we have more striped stuff and then a basic beanie. It's a cool like shop apron where to wood class or something like that welding. I don't know, but yeah. Moving forward, we have this very nice knit. I do like this. Oh, really? They're not even going to show us the knit, the price of the knit. <laughs> we just got the Baxter sweatshirt popping up there, maybe in the other outfit. But yeah, up close, you can see the knit's looking nice. Looks like a navy, and then uh, kind of has that brown on top of it. Uh, the Archer check shirt jacket. I don't like this check pattern that they got going on. Yeah, I'm not really feeling it. Uh, moving forward, we have a ski mask, the storm mask, I guess they're calling it. Kind of cool. You got the car C down below, and then we also have this goods t-shirt, which I don't care about. I'm not really, not really feeling it. Uh, kind of like a trucking design. The back view is the back of a truck, car work in progress, goods. This is keep your distance. Um, a bit of an interesting piece here. We have a reno shirt jacket with the crater wash in the tawny colorway and i i don't like this i don't mind washes of this style but i don't like this color reminds me of maybe some like just bad looking rust <laughs> which they could go a little bit different of a color but i'm not really feeling this kind of like yellow acid wash vibe going on not for me the triple cap too much paneling on this one and then the matching uh, polo that goes with it it's interesting they got the stripes mismatching not lined up yeah a little bit higher up on the sleeve and then compared to the torso but yeah i don't know it's, it's maybe the stripes are too thick too they're awfully big stripes but remove the jacket and that'd be a solid fit because everything goes together and then the pants i'm not sure what they got look like some corduroy Let's see, you got more jacket coming soon. All right, so we came and click on this one. Um, very simple jacket, simple double knee pants, and then a yellow shirt, which I'm guessing is this Carhartt Digital Deviant. De Deviance? De I don't know. And the end is cut off. Uh, I'm not sure if there's a liner for that jacket that he's wearing too, but I really don't like this. The cut around the neck, kind of like the swoop. I don't care for that. Um, let's see. We have this, just a basic outfit. A Vista t-shirt. Looking like, let's see, is that a pocket tee or no? I don't think it, sorry about the background noise. It never fails when I record some. Somebody's just ripping in the background. Alright, so it's not a pocket t-shirt, but it has the car C on it, which I don't think I've seen one of these before. Collar looking thick. I like that. It's a cool looking shirt. Um, let's see. And then, yeah, right now I like those pants. I think these are, yeah, double knee, same one we've seen. And they also have some gloves right here, which are looking super comfy. The Jackson gloves, making use of that camo we've been seeing throughout the lookbook. All right, we have the Car Lux hooded jacket. I don't like it. 
that being said, it does look like it's very warm. Uh, we also have this vest, not feeling it. Cargo pant, not feeling it. Looking like a teddy bear with that, that vest. <laughs> and then same graphic that we saw on the t-shirt, coming on the sweatshirt, $125. You got the watch hat. I guess this is the short version, so it's not going to be as tall. Um, I got big heads, so I like the regular watch hat length. Super long, but yeah, some people will put them on and you get the like huge excess just sticking up. Interesting sweatpants we got going on here. Some graphic going down the pant or, you know, on both sides. And then we got the Monroe jacket, a little bit of a puffer action. If you guys follow the channel, you know I'm not a puffer boy, so it's a skip. Uh, we got a corduroy bucket hat or maybe it's just plaid it almost looks like it is corduroy though tobacco breck cheek print <clears throat> not feeling it i'd rather just get like a solid solid print one or maybe like a uh a sherpa one i like buckets like that i don't like the contrast stitching on the double front jacket uh these check pants not the vibe either looks like we have another one of those two-tone sweatshirts the tone air sweatshirts making use of the camo we've already seen the black on the camo paneling and the double knee pant and then we have another graphic shirt the software t-shirt which let's see do they have a close-up of the graphic uh carhartt hard and software work in progress that's all right i went i definitely wouldn't pay no 55 bucks for it but it's not bad. Moving forward, we have the Highland check jacket, which I didn't see this before. This is crazy. And I kind of like it. I really like the pattern that they got going on for the plaid. Got the nice Carhartt C going on there. There's so much paneling going on. It's kind of dope though. 415 bucks. Pretty expensive, but yeah, that looks that does look really nice. I do like that. That's a that's a nice jacket. Uh, the double knee pant in the light used wash black, looking like a street pant right here, but double knee, interesting. And then we've got the hooded Vista jacket, another striped shirt, just some normal stuff going on. Um, Morden jacket, same sweatshirt, same pants we've seen. Uh, not going to get a look at that flannel, I guess. <laughs> and that's it. That's all we got for the lookbook. I think this is usually like all they drop. Of course, there'll be more colorways for all of the silhouettes we saw. But um, yeah, it's all right. It's not as outstanding as a couple years ago, the stuff we were seeing. I think it kind of falls in line with how Carhartt Whip has been doing lately. I'd like to see some more collaborations, like when they're collaborating with Awake. I thought that was really cool. They've done crazy brain dead collaborations. So I'd like to see things like that. But that's all I've got for you guys. Let me know what you guys think of the season. As always, thank you for watching, and I will catch you in the next video.